friends very good morning myself dr m h chennaiya in this video we are going to study the projection of a straight line ab which is divided into two parts by a point m the front view and top view of the line are given the location of the midpoint are also given and we are required to determine the angle made by the line with hp and vp the distance between end projectors through length of the line etc friends let us see what the question we have for this video the question reads like this a line ab 90 mm is divided by a point m such that am is to mb is equal to 1 is to 1 that means you have the total length 90 the point M divides that into two parts, each having a length of 45, 45. That is how written here. The line is AB, midpoint is M. That is dividing this line in the ratio 40, 1 is to 1, 45, 45, that is 1 is to 1. And you have been asked to determine the following parameters, the inclination of the line, the angle made by the length HP and VP, length HP and VP, the angle made by the line HP and VP, it means one and the same. The distance of the ends A and B from HP and B. So these are the parameters we are required to find out. So let me rub this because it is all the same only. So we have a part A and a part B. Let us see how to work out this problem. Now friends, the midpoint of the point of the line is M. And I have considering only this part of the line. And after drawing the projections of this line, we will be able to project these lines backwards and obtain the true length and also the front view and top view in full size. Now to say friends, we will locate M. The point M is 60 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of VP. So I will just mark this M dash and M representing the print and top views of the end A and M at the given distances. Now friends, we are given with the print view which is 60 mm that is totally A dash B dash is 50 and the other one is top is also given to be 70. Now friends, what we do, we, we have this point M dash, the midpoint of the line AB we are going to draw a line, a point, mark a point here of length is equal to what the print weight is 60. I will take 30 millimeter length here, that is half of the total length. Draw a vertical line from there till it touches the locus of the end M. Now I call this point as 1. Taking M as center, length M1 as radius. I am going to draw an arc. So what I do, I take M as center, length M1 as radius, I draw an arc. Now friends, we have the true length of that equal to 45. Now taking friends, M as center and that length, half of that length as radius, 45 millimeter, I am going to draw an arc say an arc here. So this is the print view. I have made it parallel here. Parallel at an angle here. Now friends, I am going to draw an arc to cut that at a point called B1. Friends, this point, whatever you have got here, is called point B because the line is parallel here and the opposite side length will give you true length and this true length has got a value of 45 millimeter. Now friends, the top view is also given as 60 mm, print image is 60, top view is 70. So I will take half of that, 35 millimeter the radius and die an arc here to cut the locus of the end B at this point. And friends, I call this point as this is mb1 this is going to be mb friends this point is b you have m and b so 
this MB will represent the top view of this length MB. Now friends, you know very well, M dash and M lie on a vertical line which is perpendicular to X, right? So also, if you draw a vertical line to this point B upwards, I am writing a line, a vertical line upwards like this. And now friends, taking M dash as center, 30 millimeter as radius, I am going to strike an arc. I will repeat, taking M dash as center, 30 millimeter as radius, I draw an arc. So this is going to draw the vertical line drawn through B at point B dash. So friends, very obviously, this M dash B dash will give you the print view of the line. You have the print view M dash B dash, top view MB is there and this will represent only half the projection of that line AB. Now friends, you have the true length here MB1 equal to 45, taking center M dash and radius equal to 45 mm. I can just draw a line here, call this point as B1 dash and this M dash B1 dash has a measurement of 45 millimeter and this B dash and B1 dash lie on the locus of B. Locus of B. Friends, this is locus of B in the top view. Friends, you have completed the projection of one half of the line in view, half the line, that is MB. You have got M dash B dash print view, M dash B1 dash true length, that is 45 mm. Similarly, MB1 is 45. MB is equal to top view uh, right here. This is print view or the half the length. This is the top view. And now friends, after completing this, completion of the remaining part is very simple. Friends, what we do, whatever the print view you have got here, we just no, forward it or uh, extend it downward to the same length. Print view means 30. And friends, you are going to get this point as A dash. Friends, A dash, B dash will give you the final print view of the line AB. Likewise, you have this M dash, B1 dash as the true length, half, half the length. Now, on the same line, I extend here, I extend that line, I call it here as A1 dash, sorry, A dash. Now, I extend this line in the same way downwards and obtain the point A1 dash on the locus of A. So friends, we have got the true length A1 dash B1 dash. The print view is this AB that also we have got. And here friends, to obtain the print view, sorry, top view and true length is very simple. You know friends, B dash and B lie on a vertical line. So also A dash and A should lie on a vertical line parallel to this. What I do here, I have this top view that is MB for half the length. I extend it backwards. So this MB line whatever I got, I am going to extend it backwards and get this point here that is point A. So AB will give you the total top view and friends we have to obtain finally the true length in the top view. How to obtain the true length? We have this MB1 and now friends you extend it backward I'll show it clearly. So this is the true length line. Okay. This I will extend here. This is MB1 line. This is point A and similarly if we extend this line, it will cut the locus of this somewhere here. Okay, you will get the locus. Remember friends, this point is going to be A1. AB is the final top view. A1B1 is the final true length and you can measure what is the angle made by the line with HP that is theta can be found out. Similarly, what is the angle made by the line with the VP that is 5 
that can also be formed out. This angle can be called as phi by the angle made by the true length of the line with HP and VP. Distance of ends A and B from HP and VP. Friends, it's very simple. Once you have completed the projections of this line, you can find out this gap. This is the distance of the end A from HP. Distance of A from HP. This will give you same distance of A from VP. Distance of A from VP. On the same line, you have been asked to find out distance of B. So, if you can measure the distance between the locus of B and XY, this will give you distance of B from HP because that is measured above the XY line and this can be measured. Finally, you can measure what is the distance between XY and the locus of B in the top view. This will give you distance of B from VP. You can be measured. Friends, we have completed the total projections of the line. And friends, here you can observe that we have got totally four lines. One is the true length line in the print view. That is A1 dash, B1 dash. We have found out what angle it is making. That is theta. Print view is A dash, B dash, which measures 30 plus 30, 60 mm as per the question given there. Print view is 60. Similarly, top view is AB, that is 35 plus 35, that is 70. We also have found out what is the angle made by the line with the VP, that is phi I have shown. And finally, we have been asked to find what is the distance of the NEA from HP from VP. So you can just measure the locus of the NDA from HP. This distance will give you distance of the NDA of the line from HP. Similarly, this will give you distance of the NDA from VP on the same line. We can obtain the distance of the end B that is by measuring the distance between XY and the locus of the end B. Finally, we can also measure what is the distance of this B or distance of the locus of the end B from VP. Friends, I hope you have liked the video. Please go through the complete video. If you like this video, do share this video with all your friends without fail. Thank you friends for watching my YouTube video. Have a wonderful day.